tell me about what's going on with the gender discussion in school mm -hmm. and what you think should be going on. Gender studies, they call it gender studies now, right? Women's, oh, it used to, went, went from women's studies to gender studies, but it really should just be called feminist studies because that's what it is, as evidenced by the fact that if somebody comes in, such as myself, and you're not a feminist, we don't want you here. So it's clearly um, tunnel vision. Um, I think that the message that comes through to college women about their futures is not one that will ultimately serve them well 10 years down the line. And I'm much more concerned with what happens 10 years down the line, not telling you what you want to hear going along with what you're told, which is ultimately that um, uh, system stacked against you, number one, um, meaning society, government, employers, men, men and men, um, <laughs> uh, so that you're already set with this mind, you already have a mindset that you're going to have to claw your way into the world to just be heard. And that the way to do that is to complain, yell, be angry, um, and devote your life to social justice, to creating this, this other world that is totally different from any one we've ever been in before. And when we achieve that, we will have made it, and by then you'll be dead, so who cares if you live in it. Um, mm -hmm. But we really won't, wouldn't achieve it by then, um, because what they want is, is not feasible. But, um, so, it's, it's a, so, so the narrative in and of itself is wrong, because it's telling women that they are at a disadvantage right from the get-go, and that simply isn't true. If anything, it's a woman's world. We're advantaged as females today, today. Obviously, I wouldn't have said that 50 or 100 years ago, but today it has become that, which is what the men's rights movement really is about, is showing that we derailed. We focused on something that needed to be focused on, but we got off track, and now it's become about disempowering men to raise women up. Well, you did that. We have more women on college campuses than men. Um, we have more female breadwinners today than ever before, too, but also a huge rise in single motherhood. So if, at the rise of the so-called rise of women has come at a tremendous cost. And that is what is not allowed to be acknowledged. That it's supposed to be all positive to have women rising as though they were in on the floor before and now they're going up here. But the irony is they were up here. They were they were what they did and the role that they played was their own separate pedestal, if you will. And we've knocked them off that and said, this pedestal over here where men sit is better. You want to emulate that and have that because they have all this power and, and, and a better life. So, they, so we lost what women did have in this attempt to have something that's better, which A, isn't better, and B, things get lost in the process when we turn away from here, namely marriage and the family, marriage and kids, men and kids, husbands and kids. So the, the, this, this incessant focus on women um, is not, in my opinion, a good thing. It is um, not equality because there's other people that live in the world besides <laughs> women. And so if you truly are somebody who views men and women as equals, your attention should be focused as much on men as it is on women. But of course it isn't because feminist view is that men have it made and women are still in a terrible place and we have to keep focusing on women until the cows come home because there's no other way to do it. So, um, what was the initial question? Uh, telling college women. So, so, so you know, right, right off the bat, they're, they're misinformed by believing that they are um, downtrodden, that they're oppressed, that they're a victim. So that's number one, which is why they're so angry all the time. Um, I would be too. Uh, and the other thing I would want to talk with them about that is not allowed to be talked about is that their future life, for most of them, not all, but for most of them, is going to include marriage and the family. Most women still marry. They still want to do this because it's not a bad thing. It's a great thing. And so if you know that's going to be part of your life and that 10 years on, it's going to take over your life because it will, why do you prepare? for half of your life and completely dismiss the other half when you know that's in your future. It seems to me it makes more sense 
to focus on what for most of you will probably be your central focus and that the professional side of your life is going to orbit around it. Now, and I want to pause there and say, of course, there's plenty of women who don't live that way. They, they do the opposite. You know, the, the career is the focus and then children and husbands orbit. But for most people, that's not what they want. And we know that because women still to this day, most women um, choose to work once they have children, once they're married and have children, choose to work either part time or not at all when children are home in their home, like between birth and 18 meaning most women sequence their lives to accommodate for that part of their desire. And um, we only hear from the women who don't do it that way. And that's one of the biggest problems that we have is that the ones you're hearing from are the ones who don't make family at the focus. So you're seeing and hearing, you know, if you're talking about women in Hollywood, women in the media, um, writers, not me, other writers. Um, <laughs> um, um, People who live big lives or are typically in front of cameras are not wives and mothers, um, but are women who have made a career their life. And then they are the ones espousing how it should be. But for most women, that's not what they want or are going to do, as evidenced by the fact that feminists are complaining because we still don't have enough women becoming CEOs. Damn it, why don't you want to do that? You're supposed to do that. They don't want to do it. And there's a difference between being capable of doing something and wanting to. And that's a really big thing when it comes to these issues that we deal with, with um, uh, equal pay and um, having more female uh, CEOs that feminists are constantly complaining about. They're, they're fighting against mother, human nature. You know, women don't want that life. It's not that they think they can't have it or somebody's holding them back. That's not what they choose to do. But it is what feminists choose to do. So that's where the disconnect is. You're being sort of mentored by the wrong people, unless you want that to be your life, but most women don't. Hmm. So part of the, the feminist um, goal is to have equal representation mm -hmm. in the, Congress mm -hmm. and in film with directors, mm -hmm. female directors are a very small percentage. Politics, um, politicians. Yeah. Definitely so, government. So feminists want women to be equal in these places of perceived power right um are you saying that not all women want to be equal in in that i'm space? saying not all women i'm saying most women don't want the life that it would take to do that to become a politician you there is no life i mean you're 90 100 hours 120 you're just never home you barely eat the life of a politician is completely different from the life you and i may know and it's very similar, I imagine, to, you know, I don't know, an actor, an actress when they're making a film or a CEO all the time. I don't, you know, a doctor, a surgeon, those types of professions, that's it. That's your whole life. There's nothing else. Your health goes, your friendships go, your exercise go, your um, marriage goes, your time with your children goes. Women aren't built that way. They want all these different aspects of their lives. And the way to do that is to find something that's going to allow for it, and that's generally part-time work or flexible work or work that doesn't mean becoming a brain surgeon. And that's just the way it is, and there's nothing wrong with that unless you're feminist and you're not okay with that because it doesn't fit your, your uh, goal, your ultimate goal. Mm 